What was the inspiration and intention of writing your book, Who You Are Meant to Be, The Enneagram Effect? Well, firstly, I was, I've been wanting to write this book since I took my certification at Loyola in that master's program. And I came home and I said to my husband, oh my gosh, I have to work with this. I just, oh, I was on fire. I just, I had heard of the Enneagram. You know, I knew a little bit about it. I thought it was like Myers-Briggs or some kind of little personality test or whatever. It is so much more than that. And that's why it's well-received worldwide and and continues to be um, something that's powerful and profound for people. It isn't just about personality, it, and it is the antithesis of putting you in a box as your personality. It just shows you patterns and ways of thinking and behaving that you, that everybody I've given it to for 18 years is so clear about and says, all the time. This is exactly what I do. This is me. This is what I do. Yes, yes, yes. It's so clear and it helps you show in depth. It's like an emotional MRI, I call it. It shows you what you are in like in depth so that why do you want to know what you are sunny side and shadow side? Why do you want to know what you look like in depth? Some people don't. But the reason you do if you're into well-being is because it will help you navigate through those times that you are disconnected more easily so that you can get back to center. Right. Right. Why do you think most people don't want to look deeper within their personality or themselves? It takes courage to do the work. It does. I mean, learning about your personality type is one thing, but using what I call the wellness map within the Enneagram is to identify these shadow pieces of ourselves that we might, you know, shadow, the con- the notion of shadow is you either don't know it about yourself or you know it and don't like it. And so people don't necessarily want to know because if you know, then you have to take responsibility. And so um, there you go, you know, therein lies the rub, the work. Do you want to do the work? I remember one time my dad said to me, you know, gosh, I'm forgetting what he said now because it just blocked, it just ran, went, went right out of my mind. But it was something to the effect of, oh, I know what he said, we grow in spite of ourselves. And I said, yeah, dad, but can you imagine? Because he came from a generation that wasn't really allowed to look within or go into therapy or do this kind of stuff because it was considered weak, especially for men. And so I looked at him and I said, yeah, but dad, can you imagine what it looks like, that growth, when you do the work? Like, imagine what it looks like for your family if everyone does the work. Imagine what it looks like for your your suburb or your city. Imagine what it looks like for your country and for all the countries in the world. You can't just wish for peace. You have to act, make actions that bring about peace. 